This is going to be a quick review of decomposition reactions. So we're going to start with decomposition of a binary compound. So binary means it has only two elements. Um, and when you either heat this or run electricity through it, um, it's going to be an endothermic process, right? You're going to have to put energy into it. You're just going to split the compound into its elements. So its elements are sodium and chlorine. You do have to remember the diatomic element. So sodium is not diatomic. Chlorine is diatomic, so we'd have a subscript of two there. Um, don't forget you have to balance your equation. So a two out front here and a two out front here. And I wouldn't always expect you to know states of matter, but if we assume you know, room conditions, the chlorine would be a gas and the sodium would be a solid. Okay, then we'll move on to kind of special cases of, of decomposition. So these are memorized, okay? You might say, well, how am I supposed to know that? Well, I think you learned it in first year chem, um, a couple of these, and you just, you memorize them. So um, scientists recognize that not every compound broke apart into its elements. Instead, it broke apart into simpler um, compounds, potentially. So if you look here at a metallic carbonate, decomposition of metallic carbonate, it's going to split apart into the metallic oxide and carbon dioxide. So that's always going to be the case. The only part that's going to change here is what the metal is. And of course, you have to consider the charge of your metal. So we will do this example. We have calcium carbonate here. So calcium oxide is going to form. Remember, calcium has a plus two charge. Oxide has a two minus charge. So you just need one of each. So calcium oxide is going to be CaO. And then you're always going to get carbon dioxide, CO2. Okay, if we wanted to do states of matter, assuming we're at kind of room conditions, we'd have gaseous CO2 and um, we would have solid CaO. Now, how did I know that? Well, calcium oxide is an ionic compound, so that's going to be a solid. Um, and if we make sure this balance, we want to make sure this is balanced, and it is. So we just have ones as, as the coefficients in all cases there. And then lastly, let's look at another one that's pretty common, the decomposition of a metallic hydroxide. So for hydroxide, you're going to be looking for an OH minus um, polyatomic ion that constitutes a, hyd a hydroxide. So here we have sodium hydroxide. So that's going to split apart into the metallic oxide. Now be careful, that's not just NaO, it's actually Na2O because Na has a plus one charge, oxide ion has a um, minus two charge. And then water is H2O. Again, assuming room conditions, this ionic compound, all ionic compounds would be a solid, and then water is a liquid. We do have to make sure that this is balanced. Um, I think by putting a two here, we're in good shape. Every Thing then has two of that type of atom.